Hey, Virgo Summon Rising in Venus. This is what we got going on for December 27th, 2022. Uh, um, <laughs> so sorry. Uh, tarotbarbie.com. Uh, let's get a Virgo. It's coming with the Knight of Wands, the Ten of Wands, and the Four of Pentacles. So you guys were dealing with uh, somebody who loves to run away. They love to run away because their ego is very much so prideful. This is the type of person that runs away from all their problems. They run away from love. They run away from commitment. And until this person comes to the realization that they cannot be working out of a fear. So this person's root chakra looks like it's absolutely blocked, which is causing them to work out of an ego base on their roots on the root and making them always run away this person they're it's crazy anyway we don't need to drill this motherfucker but at the end of the day in order for this person to get grounded and be still they are in fact going to either have to face their fears release the ego work out of a place of consciousness and work out of a place of love in their heart space instead of them running away from absolutely everything because i can absolutely sense and feel that this person is so afraid of being loved not knowing what happens when you when you be, they're just terrified at the end of the day they, they need to put their that ego to the side with that six of wands to the nine of wands yeah you need to put your ego to up uh, you gotta put virgos you know if this is a you dot you guys gotta put your ego away because it's really not gonna benefit you guys in any way shape it's actually gonna hinder you and harm you you need to experience life in order to experience life and to overcome challenges that means you actually have to to work on yourself too, you know, not as punishment, but literally like, don't you want to know who you are? Don't you want to be able to see yourself and be like, okay, well, you know what? I got work I got to do and then actually work on it so you can raise your vibration and raise your frequency instead of you always having to run away from absolutely everything. At the end of the day, Virgos, whether this is you guys, Cancer or an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, this person loves to run away. Loves, they love to run away from them, from everybody. They love to run away from their problems and whatever the case is because they're very prideful, very egotistical. This person from the past honestly misses you guys so, so much. And some of you guys may have also fought with this person, but they also feel so defeated by the way that they actually miss you. They, they don't know what to do because they're ego-based. They're emperor. They're like set in their ways. They are... They're not budging. And look at all the shit that they're carrying at the same time. They're carrying their own problems. And so, because they keep piling up more problems, more problems with every endeavor that comes in their life, they keep piling it up because they're working out of fear. They're working out of a, a ego base from the roots. So you need to clear your energy up. And you can't just sleep with people and then run away from them because that is the reason why that energy is so incredibly blocked, Emperor. Ten of Wands. You need to have, you need to work on yourself. You're choosing to not open your heart space for Pentacles. You're carrying all the all that shit. It's like, well, if you don't have the key to my heart, then I'm not going to open. But what do you mean? The universe sent you the Eight of Pentacles, the Queen of Cups, the Two of Cups, and the Lovers card. They sent you somebody who is genuinely be willing to open your heart space because they have that healing energy on them to help you heal. You sit on your treasure box and you and you don't want nobody to see you. They don't. You don't want nobody to share that that loving energy with you but you're only hindering yourself you need to do work on yourself eight of pentacles and you need to stop uh pressing yourself and acting like well i'm not gonna let anybody open my heart unless they have the key listen you're the only one with the key and if you choose to open your heart that's on you and if you choose to close it that's also on you you're punishing yourself from something of what we are all capable of having which is pure love uh, Queen of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Virgo, Gemini energy. Uh, you guys are so beautiful. I do believe that this person does love you. They want to reunite with you and see you again. I do feel like this could also be a twin flame. <sighs> so I don't know if you guys understand how the whole twin flame thing even came about. But in like Greek mythology or whatever the case is or any other culture, or whatever, before we ended up coming down into the earth plane, so into the stars, you all have, you're all connected, all right? This is you, and this is the other person. You guys are stuck together like this, right? Meaning that you are one soul, two bodies, and then let's just say someone gets pregnant and they want to have, they want to have a baby, you're like, okay, it's my time. You detach yourselves, <laughs> And you go and you become born while well, this one is now left by themselves. And then eventually when they're ready to come down, they go through. <laughs> All 
okay <laughs> so cute and that's what a twin flame is it's that you guys were already connected in the galaxy you were already connected in the stars before you actually came down into the earth plane and uh and became a uh, human form now that's why some of you guys might get into connections with people and you literally see <sighs> They look like you, they act like you, it's like literally a twin version of you. It's like you, you, you literally look like each other because you are already with each other in the, in the, in the stars, right? Um, but nonetheless, uh, Virgos and the cutie patooties, everybody, all right? That's Twin Flame Journey for you guys, and um, I don't know. Who knows, maybe the twins are not supposed to really be with each other on the earth plane and they're actually supposed to be back up with each other in the 5D, which is very, very special, meaning that you guys are never going to really be apart and the soul contract on the earth plane is actually more fucked up than you guys <laughs> Sad, sad journey. I love these. Okay, you're so cute. Uh, but nonetheless, this person needs to stop working out of their ego and get their shit together at the end of the day. Um, you guys could have also been dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This person just wants to continue to live their life and be a fool. Like they just want to keep. They don't. They don't want to feel pressed. They don't want to do nothing. They don't want to have no responsibilities. They don't want to be. They just want nothing. Very cold and very detached energy. Somebody who doesn't carry any emotions in their heart space. Somebody who's always like very analytical, very straightforward. You know, maybe they laugh a little bit here and there, but at the same time, there's just something within. Something is definitely missing with the King of Swords here, and they're gonna have to go within with the Two of Wands and the seven of cups like they really have to really think about where their life is honestly going somebody here might be literally at a standstill like they just don't know where life is honestly taking them and that's because of their cold and detached energy but from not being able to work from their heart space king of swords gemini libra aquarius Hopefully one day they'll wake up with the strength card, six of pentacles, justice card. This person needs to balance their life out. They need to balance their life out. They need to they need to learn what it means to give and take. It they, they need to learn what it means to meet somebody halfway. And if this person continues to act like they got all control and they got everything and they don't want to give and receive then they're always going to be lost with the seven of cups because they're always going to be running after fantasies, illusions, things that never last, like literally things that don't last two weeks, one month, three months. This is what they'll be chasing and they're going to have to really wake up with the two of wands, the seven of cups and come to the realization that that's not how life is. You find something, you set your goals so that way it actually lasts a lot more longer, not short term plans and goals because that will never get you anywhere. Seven of Cups and, and this person is going to start dreaming and start having, <sighs> seeing things too. But nonetheless, I do believe eventually this King of, King of Swords could potentially end up in the King of Cups energy, learning to use their heart space, learning to balance it out, learning to actually have a, uh, uh, working with their heart space with the justice card yes go ahead work with your head but work with your heart too at the same time do what you think is right for you but don't be treating anybody all the way fucked up right and that has to come into balance like those skills are really weighing on this person especially because they don't know what's really going on so at the end of the day there's going to be a cancer pisces scorpio taurus virgo capricorn who are going to end up fighting with each other and it's because somebody here is not seeing things for what this king of cups is saying and this king of cups doesn't want to really want to deal with whatever this king of cups is crying about honestly and this is this could be a female and this could be a man and some of you females you guys got a lot of masculine energy within you guys right because you guys always had men disappoint you so you guys always have to take on that role for yourselves and I don't think that's a problem I think the problem is is that you guys might have felt like men have failed you in some sort of way and which is why women have become so masculine but I guess you can say that I'm here to tell you, do not let the society manipulate women to make you think that you don't need men because realistically, men need women and women need men. Women are supposed to be submissive and, and go-getters and get things done and loving and healing energy where the masculine is supposed to provide and do that type of work for, for themselves and for the female too. So for anybody who's always like, oh, well, I have to be the man and I have to do this. No, you know, you, you don't have to be like that. Don't allow, don't allow the manipulation of what, <laughs> I can't even talk about it, Virgos. I'm so sorry. I can't because it's going to fuck me up too. Like if, if, if the videos cross the right person and they, they'll come after Barbie, 
they'll come after and I fucking know this I'm not gonna talk about it but hopefully that was enough for you guys to kind of like wake up a little bit of what it is that I'm trying to say and you guys will figure it out later on um when the time comes because you guys know we already know like the ones that are awake and conscious and you know we already know (laughs) what happens to those who know too much (laughs) Anyways, Virgos, uh, Queen of Pentacles, you guys may be also very much so sad and heartbroken over the twin flame journey here coming with the two of cups and the lover's card. You guys love this person very, very much. But nonetheless, you guys have your heart set on one person and somebody has their heart set on you as well. But you guys are going to have to decide because this has caused you guys so much sadness and so much pain. And a lot of you guys are still grieving over the fact that you guys are not with the person that you guys are meant to be with. Page of Cups, this person's coming back towards you guys. And it may have been a long fucking time. Three years is how I'm seeing it. It's just a long fucking time. And, you know, I don't like to entertain the whole entire twin flame thing because I don't want to put you guys in a fucking loop. I don't I don't encourage this this hamster wheel for you guys. For I don't I don't encourage it and I'm not going to keep and I'm not going to encourage it either. I'm not going to do that to you guys because that's really fucked up. I want you guys to learn from the experiences that you guys have you guys had to go through, learn from it, grow from it and then move on. And if you guys are meant to be with somebody, then God willing, he will send you guys back the person that you're genuinely meant to be with. But in this case, I do see it's a twin flame journey that could potentially be coming back for some of you guys. Uh, But in turn, they are coming in as the page of cups. A lot of you guys are going to tell this Gemini Libra Aquarius to buzz off just now. You're not you're not going to want nothing to do with this uh, Gemini Libra Aquarius. You're going to let them know they make you feel so scattered. They make you feel all the way fucked up. Uh, Tower card four cups. You're going to reject them. You don't want to deal with it. You don't even really want to work on the relationship because it's like every single time you work on it, you're the one that's doing all the work. And even though you guys know what the connection is is it's like how are you supposed to keep talking to somebody who doesn't want to use their heart space in this situation is you can't wake people up they're gonna have to either grow up on their own wake up on their own or wake up whenever they choose to wake up but that is not your responsibility the most that you can do is either guide people show them and then when their time is right to 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 open their heart then that would be on their time all right so coming in with the wheel of fortune the wheel you guys are really resilient at this time with the wheel of fortune things are going to start working in you guys' favor you guys got big angels that are coming in to support you because they've seen all the challenges you guys have gone through but they're also supporting you because you guys have done a lot of healing work too especially on a spiritual level you guys are going to be growing spiritually especially for the star seeds the pleadings and any other uh i'm not even going to go in that area either but at the end of the day it, it's it's a it's a lot of spirituality and a lot of ascending energies that the wheel is going to start turning I meaning there's going to be some sort of shift that's going to be happening on a conscious level and a lot of you guys are either going to feel it when this portal comes in i do believe it is a portal that's going to be coming in and when that portal comes through a lot of you guys might actually feel it they're saying something about feeling sick or feeling either exhausted or feeling sick when that portal comes through make sure that you guys are staying grounded when that portal comes in uh, <laughs> oh man I don't there is no freedom of speech Virgos I can't talk I'm not allowed to talk but I want to talk I want to say a whole lot but there is no freedom of speech <laughs> so you guys just continue to be the empress <laughs> and know what's best for you and know what's right for you and what's right for your energy with the empress energy six of swords and the ten of pentacles make sure that in this energy here with the temperance of the wheel of fortune that when you guys are going to be going through this portal that's going to be coming in they talk about a gateway so maybe there's going to be some sort of galactic portal or yeah a galactic portal that'll be coming in uh within either the end of december or coming into january but at the end of the day, uh, Virgos, you guys are going to know yourselves. You're going to know your worth as well, which is going to be able to help you guys excel with the Six of Swords to heal yourselves, to go to greater and better things here at the same time. <sighs> at the bottom of the deck, you guys got the sun energy, the moon energy. So this is going to be another one that's going to be coming in. This is portal energy. This is big portal energy uh virgos there's a lot of portals that are going to be coming in uh, anyway with that so the sun card to the moon card there's going to be some really big energy that's gonna... <laughs> what's the point of me doing a reading if i can't even fucking talk to you guys properly this is horrible 
anyway, it's a portal that's going to be coming in. There might be a couple of them coming in between. Uh, oh, yeah. So there's going to be uh, Mercury retrograde that's going to be coming in, I think, in the month of February. That could be also one of them. But at the end of the day, there. this is a portal. This is So this is going to be... Uh, the uh the full moon energy i think what's going to be coming in for the for the that's going to be in cancer all right so this aries leo sagittarius who is uh, hiding how they genuinely feel about you they're going to be going through a lot of bullshit at the moment with the nine of swords to the judgment card so judgment is being placed on this person seven of wands you guys have defended yourself from an aries leo sagittarius this person needs to come to the realization that they need to wake the fuck up it's time for this person to wake up on a conscious level they it's this you can't hold you can't you can't act like this in life you're gonna have to go through the th so the, sh the light is going to be shined on an aries leo sagittarius that this person here has so much now, this person is actually not a good person to be around. Um, this person is literally hiding who they are. But they're saying that that moon energy, it's, it's going to be illuminated. So there's, there's going to be illumination that's going to be happening on an Aries Leo Sagittarius. People are going to see who this person is for who they are. And it's going to cause this person a lot of stress with the Nine of Swords because they thought that they can hide themselves for a very long time. But justice, but judgment is justice. That's crazy. But judgment is being prevailed. And the archangels are also going to be uh, blowing that horn with a judgment on that Aries Leo Sagittarius, specifically because this person may have done a lot of dark shit as well. And, and it's like it's like a peasant. You know what I mean? It's just uh, anyway Virgos you guys are going to continue to move on you guys don't really care about this Aries Leo Sagittarius at the end of the day and you're genuinely moving on with your life with the Queen of Wands to the Two of Pentacles this person is going to be very annoyed very agitated because you may have honestly see them for who they are or their true self is finally being revealed and they're not going to be able to get away with it and it looks like the sun energy and the moon energy is going to show this person who they are in the dark and in the light it's like how do you act when you're in the light how do you act when you're in the dark who are you really so this king of wands does not act right to two of pentacles as well so maybe this person is going to try and contact you guys in some sort of way but i think realistically you're done with the bullshit you're done with the chaos you're done with the fucking imbalance type of shit and you're done with their emotional uh upheaval your your chaos you know what i mean so you're gonna leave it behind hang man you're just gonna leave just leave it hanging it is what it is if this person wants to keep partying and drinking and doing whatever they want and you guys know about it with the hermit card. This person's going to have to get their shit together with the two of swords. If they don't know who it is that they want to be or what they want to be at the end of the day, uh, then that's their problem and not your problem either. With the ten of cups, page of wands to the four of swords. Somebody here just feels just feels very much so lost especially when it comes to their spirituality especially when it comes to divination it's saying that you need to meditate you need to be still you need to get your shit together and just be one somebody here may also end up actually seeing a praying mantis when you see this praying mantis it's a symbol for you to know that it's your moment to be still you don't have to move fast in everything it is that you do in life just be still just take it easy and be still all right uh, somebody here may also have a family, but you you're hurting your family very very badly because this person yeah you have a family and you have children, but you're also partying and drinking all the time, which is really much so affecting uh, everybody in the situation, including you, which is going to come to an ending. Ten of Swords, and this is kind of scary energy here too. Four of Swords, Ten of Swords, and the Death card. You need to change. Somebody here needs to actually make changes within their life, and if they don't make the changes, then where are you planning on ending up which is very very scary page of swords the high priestess and the eight of swords energy all right maybe this person is scorpio energy pisces energy as well uh this person is going to be going through the, a little bit of anxiety and stress at this moment all right you guys are very well aware of everything and all the energies around you guys are saying that you guys are able to feel all of the fear that's happening in the earth plane that's happening at the moment with the eight of swords and the high priestess so it's your job to make sure that you 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 send love and light energy into the world with the eight with the high priestess energy all right virgos is very very important there's also a gemini libra aquarius that you guys might be picking up on their energy maybe this person's having a lot of stress or anxiety or whatever the case is but you're they're saying that you can feel their energy all right maybe this maybe you guys can sense that this person wants to contact you guys but 
you, you guys are just not really happy with this person because you thought that it may have got was going to go somewhere but in turn you realize that you were left all by yourself and felt very much so abandoned so do expect communication coming from this person but you guys are going to have to really think about it for a minute before you guys actually respond back to them uh, some of you guys are might be thinking about your your manifestations and the things that you guys have planted it's like you guys know deep down that your manifestations are going to grow and get to somewhere, but you need to release the fear and the anxiety. You have to release the fact that this is not true. This Don't feel trapped by what it is that you're trying to create your goals, okay? So don't allow the fear to hinder you from stopping you from continuing to grow. You guys are having to grow, all right? It's very important that you guys just keep growing. <sighs> There's just a lot of sadness, a lot of <laughs> a lot of sadness, a lot of secrets, a lot of mysteries, a lot of fucked up shit. There's a Taurus Virgo Capricorn who looks like they want to come back for you guys, but because of the long time of them not speaking to you, they're not sure if you're going to end up wanting to actually talk to them. This person's been doing the best they can to change themselves for the better, but they are very much so regretful at the same time. Whatever it is that you guys are growing at this moment, Virgos, with the Seven of Pentacles, do not feel sad or disappointed with how far you've gone. I'm pretty pretty sure a lot of you guys are not in the same place that you guys were last year can you honestly recognize yourself today and say well you know what I, I am still the same person as you were no you weren't no you're not no you're not you're not the same person that you was last year you're not you can you can we can debate about it all day all night but I know for sure that you guys are not so lift your head up because not you didn't lose anything in the situation either however though there is a Taurus Virgo Capricorn who wants to come back and talk to you guys again this person's been thinking about you a whole lot and they know that you guys are not going to want to take this person back. This is not good energy. Five of Cups, set Five of Swords, Seven of Swords, and the Devil card. Stay very much so far away from this person. Stay away from people who are going to lie to you, cheat on you, uh, deceive you, set you up, keep you oppressed, uh, try and hurt you spiritually and try and hurt you physically as well. And I think that you guys are very well aware of it. And you guys, there could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius who may actually know that there is a, that someone's going to be trying to set you guys up and they might try and tell these people, hey, no, don't do nothing to this person. Don't do nothing to them. You're the nine of cups. So it's like somebody here is trying to be a whistleblower. They're trying to wake somebody up by telling them, hey, don't go where this where these people are because they're just they're trying to hurt you and harm you. They're trying to set you up. Um, and I think this person might be actually trying to keep you safe with the ace of cups. So you guys just need to be aware of this energy as well, all right? Uh, there's going to be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, a Capricorn, a Virgo, a Gemini who wants to come running back towards you guys after the fact that you guys have turned your back away from this person. Um, realistically, they always are running away from whatever it is that they're trying to commit to. Somebody here is keeps running away from God. They're running away from divination. They're running away from higher source, but they're saying that you cannot run away from that because we are source, that we are one consciousness. And in order for us to all evolve, spiritually we have to be connecting to we have to connect to the higher realms ace of swords ace of pentacles this is the path to go that's the path to go all right nine of pentacles and the knight of cups you guys have enough love in your heart and enough consciousness to continue to move forward and grow virgos uh but nonetheless there could be a gemini libra aquarius cancer pisces scorpio uh taurus who wants to have a commitment here with you I do believe that eventually later on you guys may end up actually getting engaged to this person and a proposal will be coming in for you guys where you guys will end up actually getting married later on in the future, all right? You guys are single, but you're more so focusing on your growth, focusing on growing yourselves and before you guys can get yourself into any relationship with anybody. But at the end of the day, Virgos, um, they're saying don't chase anybody. Do not chase anybody because God is going to send you somebody. There's two hawks that are two hawks that are right there, meaning that you guys have a soulmate up there that is going to be that God is going to bring you guys together with the Knight of Cups to the Nine of Pentacles to the Ace of Swords. Do not settle for just anybody. Make sure you guys are asking God in divination to send you somebody so that way you guys can have this type of energy into your life. Otherwise, there's going to be a Cantor Pisces Scorpio who's coming for you guys. This person's going to be asking you out. 
but I do see that there's going to be so much more fruitfulness coming between the two of you guys if you guys continue on that path. Stay away from negative people. Stay away from uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius at the moment. A Capricorn here as well. I don't agree with this energy at all. This is horrible energy with the Five of Swords, Seven of Swords, and the Devil card. It looks like real fucked up energy. Make sure that you guys are not going out and partying and drinking and allowing somebody to either intoxicate you enough that you don't really know what the fuck's going on. It's really, really dangerous. Do not allow anybody to manipulate your mind with the Magician card to the Seven of Swords to the Five of Swords. Do not allow anybody to play with your mind. Do not, when you guys see the red flags, fucking call, either call people out on them or just uh, immediately just leave people alone. Don't, you guys need to raise your vibration with the devil card to the seven. You have to be away from people who, who lie, people who are pathological liars, people who are trying to steal from you, take from you, people who work from, from really bad lower energies. You have to stay away from people who don't care about you and don't care about themselves at the end of the day because if they cared about themselves then they wouldn't be doing this type of shit to other people at the end of the day but you guys seem to know well with the queen of swords and if it's not you guys virgos then this is a gemini libra aquarius who might try and forewarn you guys of the shit that's about to happen especially if you guys are trying to take some sort of trip and if you guys are finding out about it later on that something might end up happening overseas it's saying yo or another country or whatever the case is it's saying either go on with yourself or don't go with any of these people at all because they're saying that the setup is going to be very very bad with the devil card seven of swords and the five of swords they think they're going to get away with it but they're honestly not and it might be a situation that will end up in the courts there with the hierophant but at the end of the day I do recommend that you guys are always going to stay safe that you protect yourselves I do believe you are safe with the ace of cups but I mean, at the end of the day, there is an there is a Gemini Libra Aquarius who's on some fuck shit at the moment, and I do recommend that you guys stay absolutely very much so far away from them. If the shit that they're saying to you doesn't fucking sound right, and you know that they're lying, you don't have to call them out on it. Just fucking dip. Thanks, kitties. Bye.